the two biggest uh, risk factors that we can control for stroke are high blood pressure and smoking. Uh, for high blood pressure, it can cause a lot of damage over time and, and put someone at way higher risk to have a stroke, a heart attack, or even dementia. Uh, so measuring your blood pressure, knowing what it is, and then working with your doctor to try to keep your blood pressure less than 130 over 80 is critical to help prevent future stroke. The second biggest risk factor is smoking. Um, and while I recognize that it's way easier to say uh, stop smoking than it is to actually stop, I would recommend working with your doctor. Sometimes there are things like nicotine patches or even medications that are short term that can help people stop smoking. And we find that a multi-pronged approach works better than uh, uh, just one method. People ask all the time, what are things I can do that aren't medications to help prevent stroke? So the first one is exercise. Um, regular exercise has a ton of great effects on the body. Um, and what I recommend for people, if you're gonna be walking, I recommend walking at least 30 minutes continuously, five days a week. Or if you're doing something more vigorous than that, I recommend, uh, such as jogging or bicycling or swimming, aim for 25 minutes at, at least three days a week. Uh, the second thing is uh, sleep. So trying to carve out and prioritize time for sleep, aim for seven to eight hours of sleep per night. Um, which can help to prevent stroke. And if someone is having symptoms of sleep apnea, such as stopping breathing while they're sleeping or uh, very loud snoring, having that assessed to see if you are having sleep apnea that's interrupting you from getting good deep restorative sleep. So the other thing that people can do, people always ask about uh, what are dietary changes that I can make to prevent stroke. So we found that the Mediterranean diet is uh, the best, uh, is a diet that can help to prevent future strokes. So that's focusing on uh, three cups of fruits and three cups of vegetables per day, whole grains, um, plant-based proteins, as well as uh, lean meats such as chicken or fish. Try to save the, the beef or red meat for once a week, um, as well as cooking, choosing uh, unsaturated fats such as olive oil or avocado oil, um, rather than a saturated fat such as butter. 